Hola, welcome back to my channel. As physiotherapists, I learned that ergonomics is key, especially because the saddle is one of the main contact points between you and your bike. That's why I decided to do a full review of 10 women's bib shorts that I own, from more budget friendly to top range. This is a non-sponsored video, so it's all bib shorts that I bought myself, that I tried on the road and that I like. At the end of this video, I will also give you some tips on how to improve your overall comfort on the saddle. So if you have any questions or there's any topic you would like to discuss me, you can also leave a comment in the section below. So don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. It really helps to support the channel and hit the bell button to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. I will structure this review into three different parts, which is the chemois, the construction, and some added features, like for example, detachable straps that makes nature breaks easier. So let's dive into it now. Starting at 30 euros, 35 US dollars is Oisho cycling shorts that goes down to mid thigh, way over the knee. This is a good quality high street brand. Other brands of clothes also include cycling shorts in their sport range. The construction of these cycling shorts is without straps, in contrast to bib shorts. In regards to the chamois, it's very structured. That's a common thing in entry level cycling bibs and shorts. They also tend to be more padded, and there's only small grippers at the bottom of the leg. Next is Castelli Unlimited Bib Shorts starting at 89 euros, 94 US dollars, that goes farther down the leg, nearly until the knee. These shorts have straps that go from the back to the front and some reflective elements. The front straps are made of breathable, lightweight material. The chemois is what Castelli calls his Erdona seat pad, a seamless and structured dual density foam. The stitching area of the pad with the bib shorts is considerable. It has also leg grippers of general size all around the leg which keeps the shorts from moving and a panel around the waist which is quite nice because it adds some compression and some lightweight stretchy straps. Another pair of Castelli bib shorts, in this case the Fiorita model, started at 120 euros, 135 US dollars. They are shorter on the legs than the previous model and it has a colorful design which I find really cool. The strap goes again from the back to the front. Same Castelli Kiss Air Donna seat pad of dual density and same seam attaching the pad to the bib shorts, as you can see here. And also it has a white gripping band at the bottom of the legs and the material of the bib shorts, it has more soft velvety feeling against the skin. One thing that I really don't like about these bib shorts is the lower waist area, which I find quite uncomfortable when bending over on the bike. It has the same breathable straps with the same material than the previous model. This is the specialized SL Expert Bib Shorts, retails for around 150 US dollars on the website and I bought them for 120 euros. Similar leg length that the previous Bib Shorts, just below the middle area of the thigh. It has a magnetic hook to remove the Bib Shorts for nature breaks without having to take off your jersey. And the straps goes again from the back all the way to the front. It has what the specialized calls 3D Chemois, a multi-density foam. A little bit more structure but with minimal seam that connects the pad to the bib shorts. It has an elastic band at the bottom of the legs that has a gripping material a little bit less wide and more thin than the Castelli bib shorts. The straps that go from the back all the way to the front are made of elastic breathable material and it has a hook at the back that allows to remove the rear strap for nature breaks, it's quite easy to use and a very useful feature. Next is an endurance model, the Pearl Izumi Interval Cargo Bib Shorts. They retail for around 165 US dollars. I bought them for 90 euros. They are a mid-length 
type of bib shorts that go until the middle of your thigh and they have a drop tail pattern that allow for nature breaks. The straps goes all the way to the front and are linked together by a hook to keep them in place. The chamois is the elite escape chamois. They don't specify the thickness or the density of the chemi, but it has no seams and no structure. The seams at the side are minimal, as you can see, and it also has an elastic band at the bottom of the leg with a gripping pattern, thinner than other bib shorts, and the straps are made of an elastic, breathable material. The drop tail pattern allows you to take off your bib shorts without having to take off your jersey it's similar to the hook but it's made with a pattern it has storage pockets on the side quite useful to store bananas would you use storage pockets on your bib shorts leave a comment again pearly sumi in this case the pro bib shorts they retail for around 210 us dollars i bought them for 120 euros they end just below the middle area of the thigh Again, the shape with the drop tail pattern, but in this case it's a B shape which gives you a little bit more stability, allowing also for nature breaks. The straps goes all the way to the front and has a small clip to keep them in place. The chamois is what they call the woman's pro scape one-on-one -on -one chamois. It's really smooth next to the skin with a free floating dynamic stretch top sheet and three layer suspension which is quite comfortable it has leg grippers with a pattern at the bottom and also the straps are really soft the material they use is really really soft and it's laser cut so it has barely no seams all around the shorts Asos Talalalai, one of the most popular bib shorts with an unpronounceable name they end up quite low in the leg so just below the middle area of the thigh, they retail for around 215 US dollar, 190 euros. They have straps that goes from the front to the back and a magnetic hook at the front to allow for nature breaks, but it's not really practical because you have to remove your helmet in order to get your head through the hole and then you can remove the bib shorts, which is not useful for long trips. The chemi is made of memory foam. It has a pattern in the middle, but barely no seams. It also has an elastic band at the end of the leg with some gripping pattern and the material of the bib shorts is really compressive which I find quite nice. It has elastic straps made of a soft material and also the material at the back is quite breathable. The magnetic hook is at the front as mentioned before in comparison with the other bib shorts we saw which is at the back. Had a crush, ASOS has a crush repair policy for their bib shorts. I contacted them, but they didn't want to repair them, so I repurposed them for indoor training. Rafa Classic Bib Shorts retails for around 200 euros, 236 US dollars. It goes until the lower area of the thigh. It is like one piece suit with an upper part that is breathable and acts as a base layer. Then it has also a zip at the front that makes it easier to take them off and put them on. It has also a more relaxed fit than the other models. The chamois is a dual density one. It has a structure and a minimal seam to connect the pack with the bib shorts. And in the leg area, it has a small gripping band it's quite thin compared to other models and then the upper part is really breathable and it also has a small pocket at the back to store keys or other items I really like them for indoor training because you don't need to put on a t-shirt it's like a base layer at the top Rafa, this is the detachable bib shorts. They retail for around 230 euros, 270 US dollars. They have a long leg length, finishing above the knee and a relaxed fit at the top and more compressive at the bottom. It also features a magnetic hook for nature breaks with a longer strap at the back, which is easier to pull because of the high waist. 
the strap goes all the way from the back to the front and is made of an elastic breathable material. It features Rafa's new woman's pad which uses lightweight high density foam with no seams and structure but the pad itself is quite wide so it's not ideal for women with narrow hips it has a white band with grippers and a magnetic hook at the back that attaches to the rear strap which is quite useful and makes it easier to remove them <music> Finally, Rafa Protein Beep Shorts, they retail for around 230 euros, 270 US dollars. Again, long length length with a protein fit which is tighter than other model and a much higher waist. It also has front straps. The Protein Dual Density Chemois has a minimal seam and streamlined shape to prevent the fabric from bouncing at the hips. I found the pad was smaller than in other models, which is better for women with uh, narrow hips. And also you have an elastic band at the bottom of the leg, which has grippers, and the material at the top is really breathable. The same in the waist area. The high waist is quite comfortable when you ride in more aggressive positions. This is a table that I made myself based on my personal experience, rating the different characteristics we discussed. The best budget friendly for me will be the Oisho. The best grippers and waist will be the Castelli Unlimited. The best for nature brakes with a magnetic hook will be the Rafa Detachable, also good performance on the tops. Then the best performance on the drops and the hoods will be the Rafa Protein Bipchers. For me, the best are the Pearly Sumi Pro Bipchers because it has a pattern that allows for nature breaks. The chami is really comfortable on the tops, on the hoods, and on the drops, and it has barely no seams because it's laser cut. So all in all, the characteristics are really good of these bipchers, so I find them really comfortable for bikepacking trips and long distance cycling. All these peep shorts are really good. However, in my personal experience, if I ride for less than two hours, I don't notice much the differences between the peep shorts. But if I start to increase my mileage, I notice the differences in breathability, if it has seams or not, the materials. So that's why if you are planning to increase your mileage or go in a multi-day bike trip, I would really advise you to invest in a good pair of bib shorts. Also, it depends on the model. As I mentioned in my video, you have the Pro Team, you have the endurance model, some are better on the hoods or are better on the tops. So it also depends on the positions that you like on the bike. In my experience, the endurance ones are better if you are on the tops most of the time. And if you like to spend time in the hoods or in aero bars, you should maybe have a look at the protein fit because it has different densities in the chamois to allow riders to go into more aggressive positions. So that might be a better option. And one thing that is really key is the saddle itself. If you don't have the right saddle height and the right saddle width, it doesn't matter that you have the best pair of bib shorts because you will start feeling uncomfortable on the bike, you will start moving, so that will create friction between the saddle and the bib shorts that might lead to issues. So I would really advise you to measure your hip bones to get the right saddle with the right width and also the height. I will do a video next week touching on all these points and also give some tips of how to choose your saddle. It's a very personal thing, but I think there's some tips and tricks that are quite useful to know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps to support the channel. And uh, see you soon and ride the bus.